The Technion was founded in 1924 with an eye towards being the leading science and technology university in Israel. Today, it has fulfilled that dream. The Technion is the, the engine of the high-tech industry in Israel. The mathematics department started off in 1950 as mainly a teaching department. Over the years, it's become more and more research-oriented. We have quite the broad spectrum of fields. There's combinatorics, there's analysis, geometry and topology, there are people who do dynamics. I came uh, seven years ago as a, as a postdoc, so originally it was just for one year, uh, out of curiosity, what one can say. I enjoyed it a lot and I decided to extend my stay. You have a lot of flexibility, people are very open to new ideas, they trust you, they let you try something. I think it's a very positive uh, thing that I experienced uh, as a, as a non-Israeli coming to Israel. Over the past, I'd say 15 years, uh, it's become much more international, primarily because of the postdocs that we have. They come from all over the world. We have something like 30 postdoctoral fellows in the department. I came from the University of California, Santa Barbara. I flew here the day after graduation because there was a really great conference and I just couldn't wait. I'm a postdoc at the Technion at the Department of Mathematics for two years now and I came to the Technion directly after my PhD. The department provides a very stimulating and supportive research environment for postdocs. If you look at the seminar board on any given week, you'll find speakers coming in from all over the world, so I've had an amazing opportunity to collaborate with people from everywhere. Because postdocs do not have to teach, this flexibility allows the postdocs to be creative and establish their own ideas. For instance, I uh, organized a mini course last year together with the physics department, which was related to my research. The Center for Mathematical Sciences is the hub for all the research uh, activity that goes on in our department, uh, from whether it be conferences or lecture series or summer schools. The CMS was established uh, in its first form in um, 1988 with the idea of being the facilitator for research activity within the Department of Mathematics, so would upgrade the whole activity of mathematics at the department. We have approximately had something like 3,000 mathematicians visit the Technion over the years in various conferences and activities from all over the world. So when those people go back to, say, uh, Europe or the United States or India and China, and they have good things to say about the Technion, this has a tremendous effect in terms of connections of mathematicians here and mathematicians in those countries. If we have members of the department who want to organize conferences, we help them with the organization and everything that is included. Typically we would have something like three, four, depending on what goes on in the department, a year. We've had a conference in Nachsholim, which is on the beach, and when you travel around the world, people ask you, when is the next conference in Nachsholim? It's a lot of fun and people really like it. A different kind of activity is special lecture series where we invite top rate people from all over the world to spend a week at the Technion, give a series of three lectures. This is a great opportunity for researchers at the Technion to really meet the, the very best of mathematics around the world. And of course, we have the summer schools. We collect lectures from around the world, invite either graduate students or postdocs or undergraduates. They get to have a, a great time being exposed to great math. For the past decade, our department's offered a week-long summer school. Sometimes the targeted audience is advanced undergraduates and beginning graduate students. Sometimes it's advanced graduate students and postdocs. Most of the studies in bachelor are about theories which are already complete, and research is about unknown problems. We allow the students to experience what it means before they start their graduate studies. The students are divided into small groups and they experience real current research in the department. For each uh, small groups of about three students, there's a mentor from the faculty in the department. The mentor needs to choose a research topic that is really representative of his current research, but can be made so clear for undergraduates that that can actually contribute something to the research. The format of the summer school usually includes several mini courses as well as individual lectures uh, given by prominent mathematicians from around the world. I organized the 2015 summer school which we dubbed Mostly Markov Mixing and there we were very fortunate to procure Percy Diaconis and Yuval Perez who also happened to be great lecturers. 
A unique component of the summer school is a series of outreach lectures that are always linked to the mini courses. So for example, we could have a mini course on uh, microstructure evolution and then have an experimentalist doing microscopy. That brings a broader context. We want them to interact, we want them to feel uh, comfortable and exchange ideas. Almost every day we do something after the lecture hours. We take them out to the beach to experience uh, the city of Haifa. They get to mingle with faculty members, postdocs and students. They get a lot of discussions among themselves. It's really a summer camp. The great thing about uh, the department is you really feel that, uh, that you're welcome and you really feel that you're part of a small family that is very uh, knitted together. The mathematical community in Israel, uh, everyone is kind of knowing each other and talking to each other. It's a great thing, I think. <laughs>